heavy rainfall due to Storm Kona, or a strong low pressure system passing northwest of island chain, has plagued the big island of Hawaii and Maui over past few days. Radar forecasts showed a total 15 inches or more rain fell on three Hawaiian islands. Raising concerns flooding and pollution southeast the big island town Hilo, authorities issued the brown water alert here, warning that floodwaters carry potentially hazardous substances. The public is advised to stay away from floodwaters and stormwater runoff due to possible overflowing septic tanks, sewers, manholes, pesticides, animal fecal matter, dead animals, pathogens, chemicals and related flood debris. The warning issued by Hawaii warned, the Aloha state desperately needs water. About 94% of the state is facing some form of drought. According to the latest federal drought monitor, about 12% of Hawaii is in extreme drought. This is level 3 out of 4. The same storm system blanketed the Big Island's peaks with a plowable snowfall. Freezing temperatures came with 5 inches of heavy, wet snow atop Mauna Kea, which rises to 13,803 feet in elevation. The flooding rain and high-altitude snow came nearly four months after the Maui wildfire that killed nearly 100 people, burned more than 17,000 acres and destroyed more than 2,000 structures. What is Storm Kona? The Kona Low continues to bring heavy rain and flooding to parts of Hawaii. This system is also contributing to an atmospheric river pattern that will impact the western United States in the coming days. DHPFRDJPGA. Sierra November 30, 2023 Kona storms impact Hawaii several times each winter. They are low-pressure systems that originate from the mid-latitudes and move deeper into the central tropical Pacific Ocean. They pass northwest of Hawaii, pulling tropical moisture northward and flooding the islands with heavy rainfall. Some Kona storms bring severe weather. Warnings for possible waterspouts were issued Wednesday west of Kauai. Storms Kona are not tropical storms, but their impacts can be similar. In rare cases, they may transition to subtropical or tropical systems in December 2010. A Kona storm strengthened into subtropical storm Omica and then became fully tropical. This made it the last recorded tropical storm in the eastern tropical Pacific. Reliable record keeping dates back to the 1960s. Water vapor S via NOAA's goes west.